Father, we are looking unto you tonight. Use this platform tonight. Use this opportunity tonight to awaken every one of us, O oh God, and to make us ready. Ready for the rapture, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we look unto you tonight, O oh God, all our brethren, all our pastors, all our sisters who are supposed to join. We are still expecting many of them to connect. We pray, oh Lord, that God of heaven, you will help each and every one of us by your spirit and by your mighty power, that everyone, oh God, will delight even in this prayer session tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, our Father. We appreciate you for what you have done. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we are not going to take much time because we have uh, one or two discussions we are going to make. But before then, there is need for us to pray. There is need for us to seek the face of God. Because it is very, very imperative that we have to talk to God, our Father. And uh, if you see on the platform, we put something there on the platform, on our prayer platform. The theme of the program tonight is prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. I'm reading from the book of Amos chapter 4. Amos chapter 4. If you have your Bible there, you can go along with me. But if you don't have, I'm going to read that passage to us. Amos chapter 4, in verse 12. That's where we are reading tonight. And in that place, it says something there. It said, Therefore, those will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, he said, Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. Now, what does it actually mean in our, uh, 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 in our own, bringing that to our, bringing it closer to us? What does it really mean? Considering what is happening in this end time. Remember the Bible tells us that perilous time will surely come. In fact, I can tell you, perilous times are already here with us. Dangerous times are all already here with us. By virtue of what we are seeing now, by virtue of everything that is going on all around us, what are we not seeing? It's even, I can even say that it's even worse than even the days of Noah, than even what we, what, what we, what we used to, to read about the time of Noah. It's even worse now. See what is happening on social media see a lot of terrible things. And let me tell you, if we ourselves, we are not disciplined as regards the use of social media, internet, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and some other things, let me tell you, one is bound to be defiled. One is bound to be desecrated. One is bound to lose out. And do you know that some of those little, little, little things they are the thing that is disconnecting us from God. They are the thing that are weakening our spiritual fiber. They are the thing that are making us to become weak. And then sometimes you hear when a, somebody will bring up a prayer request. He say, oh, uh, witches and wizards are pursuing him or her. A lot of things are happening. Some of those things, we don't used to hear them in those days. Let me tell you. As believers, as Christians, as God's children, let me tell you, we have, once we stand in the place of prayer, all those forces of darkness, they bow, they tremble. How is it now that a child, daughter of Zion, will be afraid, will be, will be tormented by demons and evil spirits? Something is obviously wrong. But tonight, I'm talking to you that it's time for us to prepare to meet our God because the time is very short. And Satan knows that he has but a short time. But I want you to understand, if we are going to prepare to meet our God, we need to go back to all our old experiences. Is he talking about new creature? We need to go back to it. 
I want to ask you, brothers and sisters, let's be sincere with ourselves. Are you still the real person that you used to profess to be many years ago? Are you still the exact person that people look up to many, many years ago? Are you still righteous? Let's evaluate our lives. Let's examine ourselves. God is looking for holy people. In fact, the God that we are serving is a God of holiness. He cannot behold any form of iniquity. You know what happened in the case of Achan? The moment of righteousness, the moment that man took their costume, oh, everybody suffer for it. Maybe that's one of the reasons why sometimes we pray on this, concerning our online prayer meeting. We pray and pray and pray. Some people will not receive their miracle. Why? Because somebody somewhere, an Achan, is in the midst of God's people. And because of that, God's presence is being withdrawn. And because of that, God decided not to answer our prayers. And because of that, that it, we, we can no longer move forward. Because of Achan in our midst, that's why tonight we have come. We want to prepare ourselves. When last did you pray about heaven? When last did you pray about sanctification? When last did you pray about holiness? Look at the content of your prayers. Look at the content of our lives now. Are we still holy? A little bitterness is still there. Being bitterness against our wives, against our children, against our husband. Bitterness here and there in our workplaces. And it appears as if there is bitter hatred. And we are exhibiting all those things. Tell me, how do you expect the presence of God to be in our life? Tonight, we want to pray. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Remember the word of God, he said, follow peace with all men. Follow peace with all men. I'm not the one that wrote it. It is penciled, <coughs> it is penciled down for you and for me. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Tonight, I want you to close your eyes. We want to honor God. We want to appreciate God. We want to say, Father, thank you once again for bringing back this message, oh God, so that we can be well prepared for the rapture. Many of us, we are just behaving like, you know, those foolish virgins. I'm sorry to say, because no oil in our lamp again. And everything is like almost going down. <clears throat> we want to pray, we want to appreciate God. We want to thank him and say, Father, thank you once again for the privilege you have given to us once again to appear in your presence and to prepare our prayer. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's give him all the praises. Last, uh, yesterday we were here online and the grace of God helped us, our brother, brother, for that led us. By the grace of God, he led us even to really pray and pray very well. We want to say, God, thank you so much for what you are doing for us, oh God. Even concerning this online prayer meeting, how you have been helping us, how you have been meeting all the needs of the brethren, both brothers and sisters, the needs in the family, the needs in our churches, the needs even every year. Let's give him all the praise. Let's appreciate God. Let's say, Father, thank you once again, oh God. Gracious God, we honor you tonight. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Please unmute yourself. Let's hear ourselves. Let's pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. If you are in a very convenient place, please unmute yourself. And let's pray. Let's take the face of God tonight. Let's appreciate God for the way God has been sustaining us. How far God has helped us for concerning this online prayer meeting. Through this online prayer meeting, so many problems have been solved. Through this online prayer meeting, the grace of God has increased upon our life. Open your mouth and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, mighty God, we appreciate you tonight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praises to Tonight, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm reading from the word of God once again in Psalm 24. 
Psalm 24. I'll be picking it one by one because he said there in Psalm 24, verses 3 and 4, who shall ascend? Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? It's a question. David was so concerned. I want, he was so eager. Even we ourselves that we are even looking, we are even reading this thing. Do we have that eagerness in our heart to ask this kind of question? He said, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? That is, heaven is a holy place. Heaven is a place of holiness. Sin cannot enter there. Bitterness cannot enter there. A little loss cannot enter there. A little unrighteousness cannot enter there. In fact, all those even on, on social media that we committed our lives, our thoughts, our imagination to, they cannot enter there. And he said, that's why he said, it's the only place. He said, who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? Then he now said, the answer came by the spirit of the Lord. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. I come back to that area. Is our hands our, our aunt clean? Brothers and sisters, we want to examine. We want to check up our life. We want to pray tonight. God, I don't want to miss this heaven. This is what we have been craving for all these years, brothers and sisters. So we have come to prepare ourselves. Any defilement in our lives? You know what you are starting using your hand to touch now? You know what you are starting using your mouth to do? He said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. Is our heart pure? as it used to be in the days gone by. We want to ask God and say, Father, all the evil thoughts, all the filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit of God, all those defiling things that have come into our thoughts, into our hearts, into our motive, into our imagination, into our spirit, into our body. We want to pray by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, by reason of the blood of Christ, let everything be wiped out of our life. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord, my brother. Open your mouth and seek the face of God and say, God, only Father, once again tonight I come to you. Let the power in the blood of Jesus Christ to unveil once again for our soul. Brethren, we are preparing for the glorious heaven. Preparing. Christ is coming for a glorious touch, not having sports. No wrinkle is there. No unrighteousness is there. You know, no all those little, little lies. All the deceit is not there. We want to ask God and say, Father, once again tonight, Lord, I come to present my hope unto you. Grace of God, I come to present my hope to you. Oh, God, my Father, once again tonight, I present my heart, my thoughts, my genetics. Amen. Amen. He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, vanity, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Some people want to kill themselves because of money. Mm. What be, be, before you hardly can hear believers struggling, they'll be arguing unnecessarily because of properties, because of money. Let me tell you, all those things are just transients. It's just for a short while. We are going to leave everything behind. Everything will soon go off. We will soon depart. We should be looking at that glorious heaven. 
how we are going to make it to heaven. That is that should be our concern and say, God, having spent all these years in this war, no, I remember very well, many years ago, uh, myself, Pastor Ali, and some other brethren who were staying together. None of us was even married that time. And uh, even including Pastor Peter, and the many of us were not even married that time. Mm. And by God's grace, we'll pray, we'll go out for evangelism, preach the gospel. And uh, now, many of us, we are set to down, we have married by the grace of God. But do you know, mm. have, look at how many years now, maybe about 20 something years ago now, mm. and begin to add that to our age. Years. I mean, to that, that, to that time now, and uh, many of us now, maybe in our 50s, in our 60s, and all that, and gradually, we are getting close and close and close to the end of our, of our, of our, of our years in this world. We want to pray to God and say, God, help me. The little time that you permit us to stay in this world, I don't know how many years, maybe 20 years to come, Maybe 30 years to come, maybe 40 years to come. Father, we have to come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. Father, we have to come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. Father, we have to come before your throne of mercy, O Lord. You say you do only the wrong, not to the end of the day. If you not do the wrong, you will have to come out of the way. If you not do the wrong, you will have to come out of the way. The finishing line, if you do the finish of the way, all of all now righteousness of God's giving, and first after you to the final welcome all, thou good and faithful servant of God in Jesus' name, Father, we come before you, O Lord, we come before you, Father, we come before you, we visit us and praise you, Lord. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. In that Psalm 24, he said in verse 5, let me read from verse 4 again. He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, Man. nor sworn deceitfully. <laughs> ah, these mm. days you begin to hear our brothers, our beloved brothers, mm. deceit has come into their mouth. Little, little mm. lies are kind of coming into their lives now. A little lost now. You begin to see mm. the way our brothers are relating with sisters now. You begin to wonder, is this brother still a child of God? You, you begin to see the way even the sisters are relating with brothers now. And they, they, they will mm. feel that as if the devil has gone to sleep. As if the devil is no longer there again. I mean, they open the gate and open the door of their life to the devil. We want to pray mm. to God. Lord, help me. I don't want to be caught on our way. Remember, Jesus Christ told us in Luke chapter 17. He said, remember Lord's wife. He said, it will be as it was in the days of Noah. When they were eating and mm -hmm. drinking, Jesus was telling us on Saturday. He said, look at what is happening now. The unrushing for, I mean, everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to do this, want to do that. And because of oh, that, Lord, people yeah. shall oh, so to the church. And because Father, of that, we people come before your throne of mercy. They hardly come for Bible study. Father, we are asking for your God. mercy, O Lord. Oh, Lord. Father, I say, would give us oh, the grace that because your we have laid people our hands on the cloud, O oh, Lord, prepare me. The grace oh, to continue to press on. The and grace to continue to move on. Father, we pray that you are going to us for us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we have lost so many things. We have lost so many things to follow you. The grace, O Lord, 
Let's open our mouth in the name of the Lord. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Let's talk to God as the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, look into our eyes. Oh Lord. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You know, I remember very well in the days gone by, I always, I would just sit back and begin to think in my mind. I say, God, where are the good old days? Where are the good old days? Mm. We pray more on spiritual matters than even more than physical things. But our attention was so concentrated on the things of heaven, things of God. But today, the reverse is the case. We, we prefer to put the material things, the mundane things of this world. You know, that is what dictates the content of our prayer now. Mm. But we want to look up to God. We want to pray to God. We want to tell God and say, God, please help me. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a loser. After spending all these years, either five years, 10 years, 15 years, some of us here, we have spent about I mean, three decades, more than 30 years you have been in the Lord now. And little by little, is it at this dying minute, our spiritual life will now begin to go down. Our consecration is going on. Our, our service unto God Lord. is everything is almost, Lord. you know, being eroded Lord. away. We Lord. want to pray to God and say, God, take Father, us back to where we started, O God. Take us back to the place of consecration. Open your mouth and begin to ask God tonight. And say, Father, once again, help me, O Lord. Lord, take me back to where I started, O God. Where is our first love? Where is our first desire? Where is the past and hunger for life? Father, we are praying O Lord. They thank them all that for the peace of God. Oh Lord, I live your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, God, oh Lord, let's go back to the past and hunger for God. Let there be a restoration of the past and hunger for God. Oh Lord, we have come a long way. 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 David was praying. Mm. In Psalm 51, and I love the prayer he prayed, and I think we can pray that prayer also. He said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We are going to beg God and say, Father, create in me, O God of heaven tonight. Mm. Lord, create in me, O God, a new heart and renew a right spirit within me. In the latter verse of that chapter, Verse 17, he said, the sacrifices of God are a broken heart, a broken and a contrite spirit, oh God, that will not despise. We are going to pray and say, God, oh Lord, begin to grant unto us brokenness of heart, brokenness of spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to ask God. Father, we come before your throne, oh Lord. The heart of God, we are asking for your grace. We are asking for your power. To if live this holy life, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Father, give, give me the grace, oh Lord, Lord to live this life of holiness. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. With day without, we will see at the end, at the end of the heaven, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I come before you as the strong, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, 
He said, let us therefore come boldly, come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, this is the time we need the help of God. He said, because in need oh, yes, of God, the love of many yes, will wash go. Are you just seeing it now? The church of God. I mean, many people in the house of God is wasking coal. They, today, mm -hmm. just in the service of today, the group pastor was almost like shedding tears. As at mm -hmm. the time of the Sunday scriptures, he can count how many people were in the church. You think it's ordinary? He's part of the mm -hmm. sin of the last day. When on a Sunday morning, there is no, there is no longing, there is no task, there is no desire. David mm -hmm. said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go to the house of God, where is this gladness in our hearts? Where is this hunger in our soul? Even we that we are on the online now, how many of us were in the house of God at the appropriate time? How many of, they, how many of us were there at the time of prayer, permitting prayer? I mean, seeking the face of God. It was not like this before. I mean, even after he finished the message, he was nearly, he wanted to almost come down from the pulpit. To come and jack some maybe some of the, some of these youth ladies. Mm -hmm. He says, stand up and let us pray. They were sitting down. And he was so he was almost getting, you know, irritated and said, mm -hmm. You are too stubborn. We said, stand up and pray. And you are and the girl was burning, was frowning her face. I'm telling you, in the house of God, in the house of God, we want to pray. Is it the kind of people that Christ is coming for? The Bible says Christ mm -hmm. is coming for a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle. Oh, we want to pray to God and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, help us. Help your church once again, oh God. That the church of God will be fully Father, prepared. For your ready oh, for the coming of the Lord. Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray, my Father, brother. Help us, Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, help God of heaven, oh Lord. Jesus, help me once again, oh God. Let's ask the Lord and say, Father, once again, help me to be ready. Ready in the day, ready in the night, ready at all time, in all seasons. When it is convenient and when it is not convenient, open your mouth and we come for your grace, O Lord. God, my Father, we come for your grace, O Lord. We cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. Don't make me do it in the act of God. That's what you should do, Lord. It's going to stand in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Come for me. Name, we are praying. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us very well, very vividly. In the book of First Peter, so he said, judgment will begin in the house of God. You know why? In the house of God, that's where you see hypocrites. Hypocrites. Don't you hear what Jesus Christ said? He said, These people draw near me with their with their with their mouths. But the act is far from me. It is oh, in the hands of God. Hypocrisy is there. And they are practicing. You know, they, even though we, they come, as, as my people comment, but they might they have made up their mind to do whatever thing they like. The pastor was saying something. He said, who knows what some of you are doing and practicing on social media. When nobody, nobody is there, it is between you and God. Everyone is recording it down. When you are on your Facebook, what you are doing with your Facebook, it is between you and your God. Everyone is recording it down. When you are there, with, even with your YouTube, and you are all alone in the night, mm. God knows everything. Angel of God are recording it down. When you are there with your Instagram, or whatever it is, and you are doing one thing or the other, it is between you and your God, secretly. And that is why you see that things, we are not seeing the move of God's power. Mm. As expected, even in the house of God. No wonder the Bible says, He said, If the righteous castly shall be saved, where shall the sinner and the ungodly be? You want to pray and say, God, help me, O Lord. I need, I want to be righteous. I, I need the righteousness of God to be planted in my life, O God. Lord, put the thirst and hunger for righteousness into my soul, into my spirit, into my heart, into my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. If I ask us to pray more than this, to pray to bind and loose, 
I'm sure the prayer will be higher than this. But the prayer we are praying is prayer of consecration. It's prayer for ourselves oh, to Lord, prepare to and to get oh, ready Lord. for the coming of the Lord. Why don't you open your mouth and pray to God and say, God, oh Lord, I need your righteousness in my life, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God, let's ask God, let's pray and say, God, impart righteousness into my soul. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Before we round off tonight, we are going to pray for the grace of God. All I've said now, without the grace of God in our lives, do you know we cannot do it? We can't do it. And that's why we are going to pray for the great for the grace of God. The Bible says with he say, we say with great power, gave it the apostle that they may witness of the resurrection come of the Jesus Christ. And great grace comes upon them all. We want to pray. That great grace, that, that, that great grace, that abundant grace, we want to say grace the was upon the heaven, release it upon our lives, but the great to resist every temptation, the great to live an overcoming life, the great to live a victorious life, the great to live a triumphant life, the great to live to please you, the great to please the Lord at any point in time. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, God, oh Lord, release your grace upon my life, oh God. Great grace will it come upon our life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. And say, Father, once again, oh God, let your grace start to rain my soul and my spirit, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Already I told you that we are going to have some discussion tonight. Some of our pastors, we are going to meet, we are going to discuss a few things. And so we are going to bring the prayer to a close now. Mm -hmm. We want uh, Pastor Peter to help us round up this section of prayer before we have that discussion. Please, Pastor, In Pastor Peter. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our uh, Father and our God, we worship and bless your name. We thank you for your faithfulness towards your handmaid. We thank you for your helping us, moving from place to place. We thank you for your protection over our wives, over our children, over our properties. We adore you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We say glory, honor, and glory, thanksgiving unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for our leaders who have been leading us in this platform. Father, you have been so good unto us. You have been doing wonderful things, putting testimonies in our lips. Father, we pray, O Lord, that your testimonies will not depart from us, rather more and more more things that we're expecting because as the day breaks and the night comes, expectation rises. Oh Lord, every area we are open, we are wishing. Father, we pray you continue to answer us so that we we'll continue to testify to your goodness, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for all these years. As my pastor said, over 30 years ago, we've been together. We've been doing things together, praying together, evangelizing together. Oh, Lord, this is history now. But the good news is, according to your word, it's only those that serve to the end that will be saved. Mm -hmm. Father, we come before you, we pray. The grace for all to serve to the very end, grant unto us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, today, the word has crept into the church. Hmm. The word has crept into the church. That does not see change your standard, O oh Lord. Your standard still remain. Without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Hmm. Father, the grace that we live a holy life, a transparent life, that others will see Jesus in us. And the grace that will keep telling the story, the grace that will keep faithful, we, we keep doing it faithfully. 
till that end, Father, grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you for our leaders in the platform. Especially, I want to thank you on behalf of Pastor Matthew. We exalt your name because we know that the light affliction that is going through, you are aware. And we know that you are able to quench it. Father, we are praying that you arise, O oh Lord, because you said in your word, if two or three of us, we assemble together and pray that you have no any other business than answering us. Father, we'll be crying unto you. We'll be calling upon you. Say, Lord, resolve this matter. Settle this matter. Father, we Amen. are praying, O oh Lord, that you settle this matter and make our pastor happy again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we commit him especially to your hands this night. We pray that your hand will be mighty upon him. Amen. All the stress. Like most times you call him, he will tell you, for two days, for two days, three days, I have not slept for three hours. Oh Lord, go in heaven, I pray that you breath upon his labors and give him joy in all sides. Amen. Give him happiness in all sides. Amen. Reconcile him with his children and his wife. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, you said clearly in your words. Those two that you have joined together, let no man put asunder. That is your word, O oh Lord. Father, whatsoever is trying to put asunder today, the culture of the West, of the Western world that is trying to put asunder, Father, we silence that culture, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Commit every other pastor into your hand, Pastor Barney. Pastor Shegu, Pastor Mike, Pastor Yomi, and all other people, our sisters that are joining us, we pray, O oh Lord, that you visit every one of us and meet us at the points of our needs, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As we move into the discussion area, Father, lead and guide us, O oh Lord. Amen. At the end of this program today, let your peace reign perfectly in our hearts, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory, honor, and the of thanksgiving be unto your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank the Lord for tonight.